And everyone, I am Carmen Michael, the professional Mike Holder. Everyone, it's Alexis Cardoza. What's up, everybody? It's the Wild Rhino Clark Connors from New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I am here getting wild, drinking an 805. Hey, this is Billy Starks. Rip F and Bison. I ran out of booze. I am the fire starter, the carny killer. I am born to die, Jake. This is Bobby Olson. This is Anthrax of H2O. My name is Christopher Landon, Anthony Streeter. My name is Frank Benetti. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Red Air and one half of the PH Boys from Hood Classic Entertainment representing the Hood Boys, the PH Boys, Purple Haze, Prince Alexander. This is Martin Stone, the original Strong Style Hooligan. And today, you have the privilege of drinking at Moe's. And you know I'm drinking with Mo. And you are drinking at Moe's. We talk about the pros of pro wrestling in the Midwest while sipping on some brews with blessed beers and wrestling. That's my scene. Death matches and Lucha Libre. It's all so mean. I'm a straight up smart goofball, not no kiss ass. I stand tall when it comes to wrestling. I'm the king. I know every move, every fling. Get ready for a wild time. Quit drinking at Moe's. Where we don't quit drinking at Moe's. That's where it's at like a power bomb. We hit hard, never flat. Fucking right. We're living the dream. Talking about wrestling. Oh, it's a scream. All right, everybody, taking time out before we get this show started that uh, I want to thank Reaper Apparel for having Dragon Mo's be a brand ambassador for their clothing line. They got good stuff. They got T-shirts. They got hoodies. They got beans. They got lots of great stuff, encouraging everybody to break out of their comfort zone, live their best self, and Hey, it's something I try to live every day. Now, be sure when you go and you're finishing filling out your order, use the code Drinking at Mo's, get 10% off, and the link and the code will both be in the description. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, eh. Where'd you people come from? I don't. I don't know. They're 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 like right there though. Did you pay the cover? We we have a cover. No. Sounds good <laughs> though. Hey, how you guys doing today? Hey. All right. Drinking the bows. My two cents. Big Mo here. Nate right there. Before we get too far, because I almost forgot the last time. <laughs> Disclaimer. These are our opinions. We're not affiliated with anybody. So, yeah. 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 Oh, I about knocked something over over there. All right. So well, a personal problem. <laughs> suck you. Um, <laughs> anyways, so the big news that, you know, it's been as of uh, recording it, like, relatively new. But by the time the episode comes out, it'll be not so new. Tony Storm has retired from professional wrestling. Although there seems to be somebody in denial about all that, and I'm talking about Tony Khan. Because hmm. in the media scrum lately, he was talking about believing that she'll be back at some point. And you know what? I wouldn't mind that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was like it came out of nowhere. It did. <laughs> that was one of those where I look, I read it, and I'm like, "What?" That that was my reaction because I'm like, wait, what? <clears throat> like I thought she was like injured and she was just needing time to heal, but it's like looking like, you know, I don't know. It sounded like she was ha having some sort of a mental breakdown i guess i don't know how to put it yeah because the, the the ex when she posted about it it was like wait what <laughs> talking, talking about not being used to 
losing and this and that. And like, I, I get it when you've been on top of the, mm-hmm. the pile for so long. And then, you know, you aren't there anymore. It, it's not an easy thing. I can only imagine. So it, like I said, it just, it came out of nowhere. Like, I don't think anybody expected that. No, no. Now, I'm going to play devil's advocate. So, and I'm going to reference something, another retirement that happened earlier this week. Um, oh, God. Joshua Pretty- Alexander. I forgot his name. God damn it. His, I got his, I got his name, his face in my, in my brain. Josh Alexander announced that he was retiring from independent professional wrestling. Meaning he's done taking dates on the indie scene. Maybe he's going, he's either going to continue with TNA or he his his stuff is coming up and he's going somewhere else. That could be either one so, of them. To play devil's advocate, I did notice on in in her um Tony Storm's uh statement at the very end, the very end of it. She did the whole, you know, watch out for the shoe, yada yada yada. What is it? Chin up, tits out, watch out for the shoe. Watch for the shoe. Watch for the shoe. Which makes me wonder if she's in character when she retired. Oh, which so would the, mean the, the timeless, timeless character. Tony Storm has retired and that when she gets cleared, because she might not be cleared. Yeah. <laughs> so she might not be cleared. Timeless Tony Storm retires and now. We're back gonna, to the regular Tony Storm. We're going to go back to the timeless. We're going to go back timeless. We're going to go back to the Tony Storm that would wear eye makeup under, you know, the, the blackout under her eye for some reason. I don't know. And, mm. and, and go from there. No, I think that's, I think that's, because you know, that's, that's how a lot of people work these days. They have so many gimmicks. Well, I'm going to, I'm the commissioner and I have retired. And then two weeks later, I show up somewhere else and, I'm not a commissioner. I'm a referee. Let's just say I'm a referee. I have yeah. retired. That gimmick retired. You know what? That would make sense. I, you know what? I don't know why I didn't think about that before, but it would make a lot of sense, you know, mm-hmm. that, you know, she spent so much time in the Tony, the timeless Tony Storm character. Yeah. How, how long was she in that? Was it almost two years? Oh, God. It's, it, yeah, it's been a little bit. But yeah, you know, you're just, you're retiring. From that, you're you're retiring from that, Mm -hmm. and you're coming back as your normal self. Hell, coming back as something else. Who the fuck knows? It would make (laughs) wow. That that is a good point. That is a very good point. (laughs) People people are always saying that you know WWE and AEW are always stealing each other's gimmicks. Next thing you know, in the next three weeks, here comes Tony Storm and her new gimmick, Tony Ash. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> god damn, you're welcome for that. Oh wow, that would be oh oh god. Oh, God, do we need to do another please don't already? <laughs> they call her the superhero in training. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Tony shit. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> and she keeps up with the with the tits out, so her costume will... And, and then we'll get Dookie Booby. How would Juice feel about that? I, I mean, that's uh, enough. Yeah, yeah, you got me at a loss right there. Like, um, I, I'm not saying I'd be the one doing the dookie on the booby. Well, maybe she likes that kind of thing. <laughs> I'm not going there. <clears throat> I am not going there because that, like. Okay, I'm not one to kink shame, but that one, like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? Like, if you're into that, what the fuck? Oh, God, I'm... I gotta pick up dog shit. Do you think I'm into that crap? 
Uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, God. But yeah, no, because I don't think any of us that are fans of her want to see her walk away completely right God, now. No. You know, there, there, there's a handful that I was actually, uh, I'm fans of. Tony Storm's one of them. I don't want to see her walk away. Hell, she's a pretty good talent. WWE fucked her over. Ruby, Ruby Riot, Ruby Soho, whatever it is. Hey, by the way, congratulations on your baby, and come back, hurry up because I actually enjoyed your wrestling. Though um, I've actually been, Killer I've Kelly. actually met her. We need, we need Killer Kelly back in Wrestling Revolver. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, she just had her own baby not all that long ago. So hey, yeah. it might only be a matter of time, and you know. Her former tag partner is now the Knockouts champion, so maybe yeah. that could be the first of uh, great many, many uh, you know, first of great feuds to mm-hmm. go along for that title reign. Oh. Yeah, no, oh, it, it, it's the the way I try to oh. think about it is yes, I don't want to see her walk away right now no but if it's truly what she feels like like she just needs to for her own mental health or whatever yeah by all means do what is best for you and if that means you're away for good as much as it would suck for all of us we don't want you away for good oh yeah no we don't want that but if it is truly what is best for her I'm sure anybody would really understand. As much as it would suck not having mm-hmm. her there at any point, not returning or anything. But, you know, you, you got to think the the wear and tear physically and mentally on them. If she's at that point where she's like, I just need to be done. Then I can I can respect that. Oh, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> she's not a WWE Hall of Famer, but she's a Hall of Famer. Oh, yeah, no, definitely a Hall of Famer in some. And, I, and I'm and I'm not saying that being mean. It's like I just said, WWE dropped the ball when it came to Tony Storm, which is something that they're known for doing. They're known for doing. Yes, I mean they're they're a little better at it now. I mean, hell, we've got a Women's United States Championship tournament going on right now. Yeah. <sighs> There's, there's. I've heard rumors that there's gonna be a, a, there could be an intercontinental title. You know I what I do with fucking rumors. Hey, hey, uh, Fightful's talked about it. Okay then, because <laughs> they're one of the only wrestling news yes. sites that all even give any sort of credit. I, I, I almost guarantee the, the, we've <laughs> got the women's United States title going on, and up until Friday, I actually thought that the the finals were gonna be. Uh, Jade and Bianca because they're on either side. Oh yeah. And then you get Jade that gets hurt, gets attacked. Um, then Bianca winds up losing to uh, Chelsea Green. So Chelsea you know, I don't, Green. I don't. I don't know who who's going to make the finals. I don't actually. Yeah. I, I had I, an idea that it was going to be Bianca and 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 Jade because that would help uh, uh, facilitate uh, a possible. Light bulb just popping up in my head. Uh oh. I've heard people talking about um uh as the person that uh attacked uh damn Jade. Mm-hmm. I, I was like having a fucking brain fart right there. Brain fart. But but people were talking about oh Charlotte Flair's been gone for a while. But uh, it got me thinking. You brought up Chelsea Green. Uh-huh. Dude, entertaining as hell. Oh, hell yeah. I'm like, yeah. I mean, she's doing her job. Her character is annoying as fuck. Yes. But she is doing such a great job at pulling it off. I got nothing but respect for that. I got nothing but respect either. But it would be interesting. You have her win it. She gets this big old like, oh, da, 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 whatever, you know, big old celebration like, oh, I'm mm-hmm. so great. 
Charlotte Flair comes back, that's the first offense, and then Charlotte Flair wins it. Mm. I swear I'm going to laugh my ass off if that's what actually happens. Well, if she winds up winning the whole thing, you know what else you're going to see? You're going to see her husband walking around Buying the independent his, scene his, his, with a replica, replica of the championship, and he's going to get on the microphone and say, my name is Matt Cardona. I'm one half of the women's SmackDown United States champion. What? Yep, yeah, yeah, like he did like he did with like, the, the tag belts. When they were, when they like were he was one half of one half. And all the belts he had with him, there was there was a women's champ, there was a women's tag team championship. I was like, that's fucking genius. Hell yeah. Like I, I saw Chris Van Vliet's episode with her and that that whole thing got brought up. Mm -hmm. It was like she was like yeah, I did not know he was going to do that. Like, he literally overnighted it the night that <laughs> she won it. So he went, so she wins it. He over, he orders one and then overnights it to where he's at so he can have it. Yeah. All right. I don't, I don't know if he was at home when, when she won it and mm. overnighted it there, but oh man, fuck you, you, you. Froze up on me here. All right. Uh, Technical difficulties. We're back. But um, like I was saying, I don't know if he was at home or whether he overnighted it to wherever the hell he was at. Right. But he overnighted the belt <laughs> to himself. That, and was, that, was, that, like, was honestly wow. that was honestly genius. I will say oh, that. Oh, yeah. No, I, I loved it. I loved it. It was, freaking, it was one of those that was like, wow. Like that that's literally all I can say about it. Wow. So now, so now you have to sit there and you have to wait to see, you know, whatever other titles that she gives if she's gonna win, if he's gonna wind up having that when he shows up to wherever he's got an indie date. You know. He does stuff with GCW, he was just on last night. You know, he's does stuff with a revolver, he's gonna be there. Oh, you know, he's got uh he's <clears throat> He's the first wrestling Wrestlepalooza champion and goes up there, go, comes up this way quite frequently. So I wonder if she winds up winning the championship of next time we see him. There's, you know, whatever title over here, and then you got the women's U.S. title over here. And then oh, he's, oh. And he walks around with his uh, deathmatch uh, championship. Oh, yeah. Got his I'm... logo on it and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm held. I'm going to walk up to him at Revolver and ask him about just that. Oh, yeah. All right. But I wonder, uh, wonder how much he charges for an interview. Oh, God. I don't even know if I want to think about it. Probably oh, yeah. way more than I can fucking afford. I mean, who knows? Maybe, oh, excuse me. Maybe, maybe something can happen. I tell him how close I am to 400 subscribers on YouTube. I wonder, I wonder how much he would charge for uh, doing a just a straight up. If you're not watching drinking at Moe's, woo, 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 you know, stuff like that. Are we recording? Yeah, we're fucking recording. Uh, I pressed a button right after you got back from Frozen. Frozen? <laughs> but yeah, like, honestly, I've, I've done something similar with uh, Dan Severn where mm -hmm. I asked him, Hey, I have this idea. If I pay for the autograph and I pay for a picture, but instead of the picture we do this, would you be fine with that? Oh yeah. Maybe something like that could happen. I don't know. But uh I mean, God, we you know we go on some tangents here. We started off with Tony Storm and now we're on to Matt Cardona buying a United a women's United States title. Yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's our signal to be done with this one. I, I yeah, I'm with you there. Yeah, I think you we're know done. What? That is about it. All right, let's fucking get the <laughs> let's go. goddamn fucking mother. Fucking.